Hi, welcome to another Lando Obsession and we're doing a little news breakdown of all the news and facts and things which are going on in Orlando right now. Well, actually this week. Yeah, this week. Before we start, as always, it's our little competition. So if you spot a hidden Mickey in the uh, video popping up that you're about to watch, leave it in the comments below with the time that you see him and you could win a prize. Now don't look for Mickey Mouse because you won't see him, although you may see him, but he won't be popping up. He won't because he's copyright and Disney will come along and punch us in the wallet. They will, yeah. They'll punch us in the eyes with forks because they don't like it. So there will be a different Mickey. Oh, you may win. A theme park survival kit. Um, yeah, for surviving. The first news oh. story. What? Monorail Silver. <gasps> I am excited about this Are you? one. Why? I am. Because it looks so pretty. It quite good. And it looks clean. It looks like a brand new monorail. Yeah, and they've put decals, decals. Decals. Decals on the back. It's and vinyl. It's a silver. Yeah. Vinyl. Didn't you see the new carpets? New carpets, yeah, they've <gasps> literally refitted the whole train. Oh. They're going to be redoing the entire fleet over the next few months. So um, it seems like a crazy thing to do them during the summer, but hey. And the other thing, the rumour was that there were, there were new ones come in, so yeah. I don't understand what they and I, I don't know, unless they're doing it as a just a... Who knows what Disney are doing, let's be honest. It's a mystery to everyone. Yes. So, in controversial Disney news, or is it, the live-action Little Mermaid has Halle um, Bailey has been cast as yeah. Ariel. So, for some reason, people are losing their minds over yeah. it. I don't know why. Here's the part that I'm I'm thinking this is really funny. There's a, there's a counter rumour that Disney actually started the outrage. No. Yeah. I think a tongue-in-cheek thing. Because I made a post on social media the other day. And I said, how dare Disney cast Halle Bailey as the mermaid? Because in the original, it was a cartoon mermaid. So how dare they cast a human in this yeah. pivotal role? People lost, lost their, their minds. Lost their bleeps. So, you know, I don't, I don't know what's real anymore. The internet is so full of fake news. And, and of course, you know, what better way to stir publicity than to do a little bit of, you know, a bit of, um, bit of drama. Get. The next thing we've got is Star Wars and Disneyland. So, speaking of controversial, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, is it a flop? See how I overly enunciated my P then? Now there will be a full video on this because Danielle is actually Hi. leaving a few hours. this evening. Yeah, I'm off. Bye! To go to Disneyland. So we will have a full review on your we return. We will indeed, of all the merchandise and lightsabering and all sorts. But there is a rumour of people are saying that it's a flop. Yeah. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. My head is like a little bit. I'm, oh. a, I'm a fan. I'm not happy about what Disney have done with the films so far. So part of me wants them to learn from this because there's no representation of the original trilogy in there and it's all a bit meh. But it looks good and I love theme parks. So fingers crossed. The, the bottom line you can go on all the rides. Other attractions in the park. Okay. Yeah. Now I've been I've, I've been trip planning. I've been looking at the wait times. Indiana Jones, always a two hour queue, five minutes. Tower of Terror, only opened two years ago. 15 minutes in the middle of the day. This is Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy, yes. Pixar Pier, Toy Story Midway Mania, 20 minutes. Did you have any heard of? Now, these three people used to queue around the block for that ride a few weeks ago. It's really quiet in the parks. Now then, is this because Disney expected it to go crazy and so they've done brilliant planning to get people in and around the parks and people are now using all the parks, they're going back and forth? Because you still have that, you only enter with a special group and those groups are still hard to get if you don't get into a group within the first few hours of the day you might not be able to get a group but then other days it's open access so you don't even need a group they're trialing it without a group at all and people are going in and they're getting on all the rides and everything within a few hours which is great so did disney plan it really well or and here's what I, here's what here's what i think is more likely to be the answer they have blocked out the annual pass holders i know you're probably thinking well, so what well here's the thing in california in Disneyland, the annual pass holders are a huge number of... See, in, in Walt Disney World, which is, you know, a land obsession, this is the one you're probably most familiar with, there aren't that many annual pass holders. There's lots, but it's nothing like the annual pass holders in Disneyland. You see, in Walt Disney World, people come from all over the world. It's world. It's the most, most visited place in the world. Whereas in Disneyland, it doesn't have that much of an international audience. And so most of the people who go are actually local. They're Californians they, in um, the Los Angeles area. And you do hear people refer to it as the locals park. It is, it's a local spark. The annual pass holders there are massive. 
and you can't go at the moment on an animal pass. And I think that's what's happened, is that not as many people have come from international places as they were expecting. Myself included have been reluctant to want to go for the opening week because it's going to be too busy, so let's just wait until it dies down. And I suspect what will happen soon, I think they're going to open up to IP soon. I think they're going to allow the animal pass holders to come in perhaps on weekends or perhaps on, you know, Like a Wednesday night. Do, do next week though. Let me go next week first. Let me go. Yeah. My oh. birthday. No cues. Please don't. Please, Disney, if you're listening, Mickey, look, we haven't, we haven't, no copyright, please don't punch me in the throat and leave the cues until next week after I've been on the rides, please. Yeah, first of August. That'll do. So, this is one that makes me very excited because it's two of my favourite things in one place what? doll whips and strawberries. Are there me and a clone? You and a what? A clone of me. Ah, oh, no. There is <laughs> new. <laughs> Dull, floaty, whippy, strawberry, goodnessy thing. <laughs> a goodnessy thing? A goodnessy thing, which I believe is called yeah, Red's have... Revenge. Oh, is that what it's called? Yes, because it, it looks comes amazing. with a little chocolate hat <laughs> um, it is. off of the past. Not the we future. want the redhead. But we want the redhead, the revamp. I have no idea what she's talking about. Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> so we want the redhead. If you remember, <laughs> they scrapped that because you know it doesn't. It's not good yeah, image no. for little girls. So That's now, fair. yeah, absolutely. So now, and I love the character. I think she's brilliant. She's now got her own doll floor strawberry whip thing, and it looks amazing. It does look good. And I can't wait to get it in my face. Red's right, revenge. That makes sense. I get yeah. it. Yeah. So final little news headline. Um, and a non-Disney one, which has been a very Disney-weighted news thing, this one, is this a new restaurant has opened in City Walk in Orlando's oh. Universal Studios. Big fire? Big fire. Mm. Looks fantastic. Big open grill, lots of flames. And the buns have got, like, stamps on them. Stamps. I'm assuming that's what they're called. Do you mean, do you mean they're branded? Yeah. Yes. Stamps. It looks terrific. And I've been really excited about going in October, apart from the fact that everyone says it's... <laughs> Yeah, we've seen some reviews that haven't been great, but we'll give them a benefit of the doubt. They've only just opened. Uh, I hope so. So it's a trial period. I watched night. Tim, Tim Tracker did, uh, and Tim's, Tim and I have a really similar taste. We like the good burgers and the, 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 the Tim things. loves a burger. Tim, Tim loves a good burger. And he looked really disappointed. And because I, I like grill restaurants and Tim likes grim, grill restaurants. Not grim. Grim, grim restaurant, like a grim restaurant. So I'm like, oh, I'm sad. I wanted to go and enjoy this. Mm. So um, but hopefully like, I mean, it looks like it's all teething problems. Yeah, and maybe it's just baby steps and they'll get there because most of them do. Uh, Halle Bailey has been cast as Halle Berry. As what? Halle, Halle Berry. Berry. <laughs> <laughs> mm, all the fruity flavours. No. So that is it for this week's news roundup. As always, leave your comments below, especially if you spotted the hidden Mickey. Where will he be? Put, put the time in the video that you saw him down below and you may win, you may win a prize that. if you want to see more of this content don't forget to hit that subscribe button hit that alarm bell and do all the good stuff popping up over there is the last video we've put out and below that is the one youtube thinks you should watch next if you like the show give us a thumbs up if you didn't go on. wrong yep thank you so much for watching see you in the very next show bye, bye.